Good morning everyone, got my porridge in the bath. I actually haven't had this breakfast in the longest time, I'm just going to pop it aside for a second. I've actually been making eggs in the morning, which is actually one of the best things I've ever done, I'll talk about it in a bit. But today I really just wanted like a super chill morning and I was craving this, so I thought I'd have it as I haven't had it in the longest time. But I have actually been making, oh my god, the best breakfast, like I have to show you at some point in this vlog. It's so full and it's so high protein, it's insane. To be honest, I just couldn't be asked to make it and yeah. I was craving something sweet, so I got my normal porridge. Not gonna lie, I feel lazy having a bath in the morning, but some days it's just needed, and I've got Pilates soon, and I just needed to like shave my legs and stuff, and so yeah, I really wanted to do that before I go to Pilates so that I feel amazing. I just had the nicest bath, the most relaxing morning, I just shaved, moisturized, honestly feel just so clean. You know that like really amazing, I mean, obviously I'm always clean, but smooth, clean feeling. Like when I rub my arms, they're so soft. Yes, I do actually shave my arms. I know a lot of people don't shave their arms, but I've kind of just always shaved my arms. Like I don't really find it that much of a chore. And this feeling right now, like I literally feel like a baby bottom. I can't even ex explain how soft I feel. So I feel amazing. So glad I did that. Nice chill morning. I actually also went for, you know, a little hot girl walk this morning by myself before I actually got in the bath. Just did like an hour walk, just like around my area and stuff. And it it was really nice just to go out, get some sunlight, get some fresh air. And I didn't vlog because I was actually waiting for my vlog camera to arrive. So long story short, I haven't vlogged the past few days and I was on such a roll with my vlogging because I actually left my camera at Jed and Imogen. So Imogen had shipped it to me and it only just arrived. But thankfully it arrived at the beginning of the day. So it's all good. And I really wanted to vlog Pilates today. So I'm so happy that my vlog camera is here. Also, I am in fact making a TikTok of it. So you'll probably see more clips on my TikTok. And I have been so so on my TikTok game, the amount of vlogs I've been uploading is actually quite impressive. If I if I say so myself, I've been uploading like three times a day. So feeling very, very proud. Definitely go and check them out if you haven't already. But yeah, today I'm doing Reformer Pilates and I am so excited. So I have actually done one class before. It was a group class. However, today I'm actually doing a one, well, I say one-on-one, -on -one, it's a two-on-one -on -one because my mum's coming with me. I told her that I was going to do it and she was like, oh, I want to do that so bad. So now my mum is coming with me which I'm actually low-key really happy about because I'm aching so much I didn't work out yesterday because I was aching so much from the day before I did a glute session and it just killed me like my my bum hurts so much right now it's ridiculous and a lot of Pilates is actually a lot of glute exercises at least when I it's not even Pilates we're doing it's reformer Pilates and when I did my reformer Pilates class before it was so glute focused it was crazy so I think I'm gonna struggle today so I'm actually very, very thankful that my mum is coming. Thought I would show you my outfit. I absolutely love this little set. These bras are my new favourite bras ever. For any of you that like Pilates or yoga or like stretching and mobility, these are like the most gorgeous bras. So this is part of Gymshark's new Elevate collection. And as you guys know, I actually have a discount code that you can use on Gymshark literally whenever on absolutely everything where you can get 10% off, which is pretty good because Gymshark don't really do discounts or anything. You can use my code Staff, but I'm really unsure what to wear with this top. So I'm gonna show you my two options. Again, all part of the Elevate collection. I, oh my God, I love these bras. The white one is my favorite one, 100%. Then also have this nude one. So look how like gorgeous, oh, it's kind of like a taupey sort of color. Like it's so gorgeous. I love this color as well. It's just, oh my God, it's so nice. I really wanna show you the white one on. In fact, I will insert clips of me wearing the other colors on, but the white one's in the wash. So I can't show you a lot of it, but yeah, these are the two tops. I'm unsure what to wear today my wardrobe is an absolute mess by the way so this is the first top and I have this in a size small for reference by the way oh and this is a size medium in case anyone was wondering okay so this is top number one I really want to look cute in Pilates because I see all these videos of these girls looking so cute in Pilates and I just thought I want to look like one of those girls that looks like they do Pilates all the time even though it's basically my first ever class and I'm probably gonna be absolutely shocking at it. And then this is top number two and this, I, oh my God, I am obsessed. I just don't know if it's gonna get in the way, but then I also feel like I'll be fine. It's a little wrap around top. First of all, the color, 
obsessed. Um, where's the little hole? Yeah, so there's like a little hole here. And I can wrap the top round. I'm sorry, but this Elevate collection is some of my favorite pieces that Gymshark have ever done because it is just so stunning. I guess I could keep wrapping it around actually, hang on. Okay, and then this is top number two. Oh, see, I do love this. I've wrapped it around a bit more so the string isn't so long. So I don't know if it's gonna get in the way. I literally think it's so cute. Oh, I kind of want to wear this for like, I look like such a, a party girls just always look so hot. I can't even deal. So please do ignore the fact that the background is so messy, but this is what this top looks like. Oh my God, I love it. I literally love, love, love it. I also posted on Instagram today. It was like a little post. It was me doing yoga and pla like a Pilates class, but not a reformer Pilates class. And I was basically saying how like recently I've really been trying to like do new things, like try new things and push myself outside my comfort zone. And I always thought like I would hate Pilates. I'd find it so boring. Yoga, I never really gave it a chance. I kind of found it pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie. And now I've literally fallen in love with it. And also, I just don't really like trying new things. Honestly, I just don't. Like I get a lot of anxiety and I don't know, I just get really scared and embarrassed. But since I've been pushing myself outside my comfort zone, I've fallen in love with so many new amazing things. So this just sign to go and do that today or this week. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wear, I don't know, I'm gonna ask my mom. I think I'm gonna wear this top. I think it's really cute. And then also they have actually got some new vital stuff. Let me just show you the new vital pit. Pits? Pits, why do I keep saying that? Let me just show you the new Vital bits I also got from Gymshark. Vital has always been my favorite, favorite collection. I feel like it's just the most, what even is the word? Obviously all the collections, you know what you're gonna get, but with Vital, you really know what you're gonna get. Like it always just pulls through. So I always know I'm gonna be safe and Vital. I mainly wear Vital for running. A lot of you ask like, what's the running tops, the jackets and stuff like this. And normally it is Vital that I wear. I just feel safe. I feel like it's really supportive. It's stretchy. Yeah, so I like all of their pieces. I feel like you just know what you're gonna get. This is a new little crop jacket. How nice is this? I love. And then I also just got some like baggy tees because the reality is right. I like wearing cute little sports bras and stuff, but I am just that girl that half the time goes into the gym in a pair of Gymshark joggers over the top of my shorts, a baggy t-shirt and looks like a mess. Like that is the reality. So yeah, I just got loads of like throw over t-shirts like this that are just so easy to throw on. And then, oh, I've been wearing these recently, but again, they actually need to go in the wash. Some really nice new shorts. I love. So anyways, there are some new bits I picked up. I, in fact, actually, I will link, I always forget to link, but I'm actually going to try and link. I will try and actually remember, but who actually knows if I will? If not, hold me accountable, please, guys. Let me know in the comments, because I read my comments, so I'll very soon quickly realise. I will actually try and leave all of my favourite new items that Gymshark have got on the website. Elevate, 100% recommend. Okay, so I wanted to quickly give you a little bit of a haul of my favorite pieces from the Elevate collection before I link them down below. So first of all, in this um, tapey sort of color, the same color as the bra that I just showed you, I have these leggings and oh, they are just so gorgeous. Like they're so stretchy and they just look so good. I really, really thoroughly love this color. I feel like I can't even explain it because it's definitely not purple. I don't really like purple. Anyways, I think it's actually gorgeous. I love these leggings, love the bra and then, I have this top, which I just think is so cute. It's just like the black one that I just showed you guys. Again, I haven't taken off the tag because I literally got these pieces sent yesterday. So I got the little top. Oh, it's not the same as the black. It's actually got the cutout in the back rather than the front, but how cute. Genuinely love so, so much. Me and my mum both got matching in these. My mum's also actually ordered these because she loves like a vest like I do. And how nice is this vest? It's really cute. I actually think it's a lot nicer than like other vests. Like I prefer these little like spaghetti straps more than the thick straps. And then obviously I just love wearing black. Like I love having obviously colorful gym, gym gear, but sometimes it's just nice just to throw on black. Black. It definitely is my safety color. I actually think the colors I wear most in the gym are black, green, and blue. They're hundred percent like my safety colors. Yeah, I picked up these and then I also picked up this everyday seamless like crop top tank sort of thing. So I actually will wear a sports bra underneath this, maybe like a smaller one because this won't give me any support. But yeah, just thought this was a really cute um, sports bra. <laughs>
singing. I absolutely loved it, but when I tell you, I've never, ever, ever, ever struggled in a workout class no, like I did this. I have, I've done two classes this morning, to be fair. Yeah, good for you. But, Mum, that... Did you see how my legs are shaking yes. at the end? You were next to me in the corner of my eye. I just see this. No, like, I actually can't even include it. Like, I'm that in fact, I'm embarrassed. Yeah, like, it's, it's good. the way my want, legs though. are aching. Yeah, my hair's gone a little working. bit crazy, but I would absolutely yeah. do that again. And our instructor, yeah. Megan, was amazing. Yeah, like, she's and lovely. she was so nice and also so beautiful. And I'm so fit. very envious. Yeah. So radio is actually the best radio station saying it here now the amount of times i hear dirty dancing and i love it on this station so i'm actually getting my hair dyed today in fact i need to run you over the next few days i don't know if this vlog will be a separate vlog before i go to anastasia's or not or if it will be within this same vlog but it's a tuesday morning today and i'm actually going to anna's on friday however the next few days i've actually got so like so many errands to run so many things to do so many things planned i'm actually going up to london i'm going to be staying with jen imogen before i go to anna's i have an event that i need to attend and um, well i don't need to but i want to attend and yeah i just have i have a lot going on so i'm actually yeah dyeing my hair today now i'm not gonna if you saw my tiktok you would have seen i'm not actually bleaching my hair anymore which is i mean i honestly have blonde dysmorphia as it is so i I think I'm really going to struggle, but I really want to go on my hair growth journey. It's very needed. My hair is so broken. The amount of people that message me like, how do you get your hair to look so amazing, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, if only you knew. If only you knew actually how damaged and awful my hair is. It really, really is in a terrible condition. Obviously, I spoke about the fact that I had traction alopecia before as well, and that's from getting my hair styled a lot. And obviously, I still get my hair styled a lot. I use bleach on it constantly. Constantly. I'm naturally really dark so all of the things together is just yeah terrible for my hair to be honest I never really wow you've gone flying slay I never ever ever I will fully admit it did hair masks did hair treatment put in heat protector spray I've never done anything to help my hair so it is my own fault like it actually is my own fault but now i need to do something about it and so i'm really trying to you know just reverse my hair get back to what my hair used to be like i definitely will still have blonde in my hair and i will still be wearing extensions because i genuinely would cry without wearing extensions however what i've actually noticed personally extensions have never actually damaged my hair at all i have no hair loss with hair extensions when i used to have bonds i did get a lot of hair loss but ever since i started having tapes i don't find myself having any hair loss so I I will still be wearing hair extensions but i just won't be dyeing it like i used to so my roots and stuff will be a lot darker however obviously the end of my hair will still be very blonde because of hair extensions i actually need to be home asap because my hair extensions are arriving within the next hour i'm only literally like two minutes away from my house so it's gonna be fine but knowing my love i miss them I'm gonna cry because my hair appointment is literally now and this camera is now flying all around the place so i probably should stop vlogging um but yes let's pray that they haven't dropped off the hair extensions just yet because i will be gutted I've got home there's no parcel left but there's also no slip so i'm one happy girl because oh i will still be getting my hair done today um, i actually get my hair done at my house which is just so convenient because it means i can just run errands like in between getting my hair done because not gonna lie i actually find getting my hair done the most boring thing in the world i think just because i get it done so often i actually don't i don't find it very there like i know a lot of people find it very therapeutic and stuff i just don't like it excites me it excites me more than anything because i think well my hair looks nice it's genuinely like my safety blanket i would rather wear no makeup and have nice hair like any day of the week but yeah i just i just don't enjoy just sitting there i mean especially in a salon when you're sat like on an uncomfy seat and you're sat there for hours so yeah i'm so happy that i'm just getting it done from home and to be honest i don't actually know how long my hair's going to take because i'm not using any bleach so i don't think it'll actually take anywhere near as long as it normally does but when you're bleaching your hair and you get like a full head of highlights and you're taking your hair extensions out getting a new set of hair extensions the whole process takes so long so i don't normally enjoy it but yeah
yeah hopefully it shouldn't be as long today i mean to be honest i feel the same with my nails like, i don't even enjoy getting my nails done and i love my friend anna who does my nails like i love her it's nothing against her i love talking to her but i don't know what it is just sitting still i just i just i don't know i think i just always want to zone out or like fall asleep <laughs> this is my example of zoning out apparently anyways that class was amazing i actually want to start doing reformer pilates all the time i genuinely think that is something that would absolutely change anyone's body like the way that it would tone your body is crazy like i felt my ab i felt abs that i've never felt in my life before today so abs that you can't see but i felt them and they they were there like they hurt they hurt a lot anyways right i'm gonna go inside have a wash and then get my hair done so the hair extensions have arrived they're they're looking rather dark i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit nervous they've never looked this dark ever 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 before i like, look at these colors and i've got two of these um it's giving more brunette than it's given blonde at this rate but we shall we shall see um i'm trusting the process and apparently i will still be blonde there's a way darker version blonde is it gonna be bronze or will it still be bronze blonde bronze blonde yeah. okay whatever that is so yeah oh my god look at the roof so that's actually crazy okay guys left my vlog camera downstairs couldn't bother to go and get it so filming on my phone but look how dark it looks right now oh my god this is actually crazy ah. oh my god can we actually take a minute guys i need to turn the music off i feel like i feel like i'm entering a new era in my life i'm not even joking like oh my god wow what the hell are you joking i'm actually obsessed with it though i absolutely love it I cannot believe there's no bleach on my hair right now. So this is going to be the start of a new hair journey. And um, sorry to keep playing with it. You actually, I said like, you can't actually see how dark it is on camera, but I feel like I am actually more of a brunette than I am a blonde. Like it's so weird, but oh my God, I actually love it. I'm so annoyed. I was filming a TikTok like of the whole process, but it's so dark out now that you can't really see the color properly, but hopefully you can see it a bit on the vlog right now. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so weird. I actually love it. It's everything I asked for. I'm so, so happy. We've got like one blonde extension at the front. So it's making me still look like a little bit blonde. But then obviously, as you can tell, it is just a lot darker overall. It's so weird. This is like the darkest I've been in about eight years. Oh my God, it's so weird. But I actually love it. I'm kind of like low-key freaking out. I feel like genuinely this is the start of a new era. I'm going to have a glow up. I absolutely am going to have a glow up. Oh my god, I love it. I actually love it. Please let me know your honest opinions down below. But maybe I'm gonna start being that girl that goes darker and darker now. I feel like that's actually gonna happen to me. So I just had my dinner, now having some ice cream. Mm. I'm actually gonna fake tan. I haven't fake tanned in literally the longest time. I think just because I've got new hair, I'm like, oh, I wanna be really tan, but I've had a natural tan for such a long time. And to be fair, I actually am still quite tan, but my tan is definitely not obviously as tan as it was throughout the summer. So I'm gonna sit, eat some ice cream. Probably will end up eating the entire tub. Then I'm gonna fake tan. Kind of like, I need to spring clean my house. My house is actually an actual tip, but I just can't be bothered. So to be honest, I'll probably just have an earlier, have an earlier night, get into bed early. There's actually a Netflix documentary I really wanna watch based on a true story. I think it's called The Story of Maya or The Life of Maya. When I watch it in bed, I'll show you, but it's meant to be incredible. It's meant to be so sad and I really, really wanna watch it. So I'm gonna do that um, and then maybe just leave the cleaning until tomorrow morning. Like I have to clean the kitchen because if I come down to a messy kitchen, I don't know, it won't make me feel very productive, but like the rest of the house, can I be bothered to clean it at half past eight at night? Not really. By the way, just dropped the spoon, which is lovely all over the side. But this, by the way, is the best ice cream. Oh, good morning, everyone. I'm feeling very tired this morning. But I did what I hate doing, and that's just sitting up all night on TikTok. Like, I literally was scrolling TikTok for I don't even know how long. Never got round to watching that documentary I wanted to watch. So I'm going to try and watch that tonight. Instead, I put on Gossip Girl, and I watched TikToks for however long. But I've actually got, like, a lot that I need to do today before I go to London, before I go to Anastasia's. I'm just about to unpack my suitcase. This suitcase is literally from like three weeks ago and it's still fully packed. I'm not even joking. This suitcase right here 
has been there for about three weeks. No joke. So, oh, it's gonna be a right close up right now. That's not cute. So I really, really, really need to unpack that case. I'm gonna repack. I'm not really sure like what I, oh, I'm just gonna overpack, I know I am. So I have an event tomorrow. I need to bring gym stuff. I'm gonna be going out in Manchester with Anna. So I need stuff for that. So yeah, I really, really need to start packing. I have a meeting in an hour actually with Anna about our podcast. Our podcast, I don't know if I can say, I actually don't even remember the date, but I'm gonna pop the date on screen right now. We actually have a date for when the new series is launching and it's it's gonna be so good like so good i'm so excited for you guys to see it it's actually just gonna be anna and i rather than having get like we're gonna have the odd guests but we just don't want guests for the sake of it and anna and i put it this way we've really really gone through things recently so i am very, very excited for the new podcast. So we've got a meeting about that. So I need to jump on in an hour, but I'm gonna try and tidy my house, pack, unpack, repack, and then all the other errands will we'll continue. Meeting done, just spoke about the podcast and oh my God, I am so excited. I actually think like this season is gonna be so, so good. If you follow my Instagram, at some point I'm gonna ask you guys, I'll ask in the group chat that I have with all of you as well. Um, Cause I have a group chat on Instagram now, try and send in my daily motivation and stuff in there. So definitely go and join it if you haven't already. Yeah, so I'm gonna ask you all if you can send in like personal experiences. Obviously we'll never, ever, ever name anyone. Everything will be anonymous, but so we can react to your dating stories and stuff like that. But this season is gonna be so good and we wanna get you guys as involved as much as possible. So do look out. The date is on screen. Very, very, very excited. Do you know what? I actually hate myself. Well, I don't hate myself because I didn't do it. But the other day, I nearly put like the, I hate when people leave eggshells and put it back in the, what's this yeah. called? Not egg box. Egg box, yeah. I hate that and I'm so tired. It was late at night and I put it back in there. I went to put it in the fridge and I thought, no, go put those in the bin. My mum used to always have a go at me because as a child I used to do that. <laughs> have you ever cracked an egg and you've had twins? No. I actually have. I literally cracked an egg once and there was two yolks, which means it would have been twins. And then it actually made me really sad and I didn't want to eat it because I thought, oh my God, now I've actually realized it would be a chicken, even though I know that the whole time, but yeah. Anyways, three eggs, trust me, this, when I tell you this fills you up. Also, isn't it weird when eggs have feathers on them? That's another thing that just kind of like low-key freaks me out. This is what I've been having every single morning. It, it is a lot, like it actually fills me up. And I'm not somebody to like get full. I don't ever get full until I started having this breakfast. And like, not gonna lie, I do have to sit down for like 20 minutes after and take a breather. I don't know, I've just been so much more satisfied. I crave sugar so much less. Ever since having this breakfast, Lovely. spinach, cheese. Also, do you know what I'm actually obsessed with? These Dairyly slices. No one actually understands how much I love Dairyly. I like, I would love to be sponsored by Dairyly. I think that'll be my dream. Also spinach, like, I don't like the actual stem part of the spinach, but is that the better part? Cause I know with the broccoli, right? Obviously the stalk is the best part. Is it the same thing for the spinach? Because I always like take those bits off if they're super long because I just don't like them. But I don't know if I'm getting rid of all the goodness. So either cheddar cheese or I put this cheese in because it's just so good. Yum, yum, yum. You are actually joking. Oh my God, are you joking? I've not just done that. No, it might not look like the best thing, but like this is actually the best thing ever. It is my absolute favorite, favorite, Favourite breakfast. Good morning, everyone. This vlog this week is very bitty so far and I actually do apologise. Um, oh, just ended up having the busiest day yesterday. I, I was supposed to go to the gym. I didn't end up going because I was just so exhausted and I got into bed at like 8 p.m. Actually, maybe even early, maybe like 7 p.m. But I'm just in such a bad habit. Like I'm obsessed with TikTok at the moment. My watch won't stop going off. So I've just managed by the way to finally get my watch to work. I've been trying, I've literally been trying for like a month. I know you're thinking no Saffron, it doesn't take a month to set up a watch. It like, there was always a reason why it wouldn't work. Like my phone apparently wasn't good enough. Like wasn't the software that the watch was. So even though I have literally the newest iPhone, th there was always a reason. But anyways, this morning it's actually worked. So I'm so happy. But now all my messages are coming through and I I don't know how to silent the watch. So I do actually apologize where it's finally just set up now. What was I even saying? Yeah, I went to bed so early and then I just ended up, this is driving me nuts. This is actually driving me nuts. 
How can I silent you? I don't want you. I wanted you, but I don't want you this much. I want you to keep binging in my ear. Yeah, and then I just ended up scrolling TikTok. Like, I should have just gone to bed at like 8 p.m. when I was actually that tired because genuinely I could have slept through. Instead, I just scrolled TikTok. But good news, I'm on TikTok 24 seven. So yeah, I've become obsessed with the app. I am also just obsessed with scrolling, which is like my least favorite thing in the world to do. I don't even like the fact that I'm sat in bed, like even recording this in the morning because I don't do that. I don't scroll in the morning. It's I think it's such a bad habit. This is driving me nuts and it's gonna drive you guys nuts. So I'm gonna stop until all my messages have come through and I think I've got, I've got 363 to come through on this watch. So wish me good luck because this, this is gonna drive me nuts all morning. I left my camera indoors on the way to the gym. And I thought, do you know what? No, I need to, I need to get my camera. So I went back and thank God I went and got my camera because I had left my headphones. I literally left my headphones indoors. And I'm telling you now, there is no way I would have run without my headphones. I'm trying to do a run this morning. <sighs> I'm like exhausted. The way I sprinted indoors is like no joke. And my stairs are actually like, there's a lot of stairs. Anyways, thank goodness. Thank goodness for you guys. That's all I can say. Anyways, ready to hit this morning session. I'm actually so excited. The fact I have my Apple Watch working is just making me the happiest person alive. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can tell you really what it is, but you got it. Okay, just got back from the gym. Had a lovely session. I mean, I mainly just ran and walked. I did like a little bit of a glute session, but it was rather short and sweet. Got trying to carry all of this. It's gonna be a mission. Anyways, I just had some breakfast. Oh my goodness, it was insane. I had the same thing I've been having pretty much every single morning. The scrambled egg wrap. It's just to die for. I just filmed it on my TikTok. So if you want to go and check it out. And I did say that I'd leave Jed's video so you guys can go and make it. But it actually is the best thing ever. I feel like it's changed my life. And I know that actually sounds like the most <laughs> craziest thing. But I don't crave chocolate. It's so weird. I mean, it's obviously just having a savory breakfast. But why am I always exhausted from walking up the stairs my god um anyways i need to pack i've got an acting lesson in 20 minutes but i need to pack my case i mean i've half packed my case for london and then the weekend at manchester but i'm a little bit stressed because okay, first of all let me get my breath back second of all i'm not taking a large case and i know i'm literally going away for three nights but i can't function without a large case like this case is full I mean, it's not even a, it's not even a carry on. It's bigger than a carry on, and it's full. And then I'm stressed because I know I've got loads of things at Imogen's, and I'm just like, I don't know if to just change it over. I think I might have to because I actually can't. I can't travel light. Look, this is the size. This is the size of my case. So this is the size of it, and it's full. But then my situation is. I've got loads of stuff which I had in Imogen, so I don't know if this is really enough for Imogen. It's going to be like overflowing and I would way rather travel with a smaller case. But then if I'm carrying loads of bags, well, that's just the worst thing ever, isn't it? I'd rather just have one big suitcase. So I just repacked my case. But the problem I have is when I repack the case, I start adding a bunch of things. But then I actually feel like I do need these sort of things. Do you know what my problem is as well? It's like, I love the skincare that I use. I love the shampoo and conditioner I use, especially now I'm going on this whole hair care, hair growth, self-love journey. Really, you know, try to use all the products that I should be using, like the hair mask, etc. And so I don't want to travel without them. So. Yeah, somehow I've got a suitcase that could actually fit about 35 kg in to go away for a few nights. I genuinely don't know how to pack Vital. I have tried. I've tried so many times and I just can't do it. I literally cannot do it. Day, everybody. Look who I'm with. <laughs> we, well, actually, I would say I've got ready fairly quickly, to be fair, but yeah. also just chilled. You know, like you have loads of time, but just kind of just got, got on with it. So yeah, just did my makeup. I love the blush. So I saw Imogen's makeup today and I was like, oh my God, your makeup looks insane. Like she actually looks incredible. And it's the Made by Mitchell palette. What is it called again? Oh, curve cake. Curve case and what was the pink? Was it Kylie? Yeah, that blush. Kylie yeah, blush. that blush is amazing as well. So it's a blush from a curve case and then also a Kylie blush. And oh my goodness, I'm actually obsessed with it. But tonight, the event that we're going to is um, Josh Dendel. I can't believe either. 
Jo- I can't vlog either. We're TikTokers now. <laughs> um, the event that we're going to is Josh Denzel's collaboration with Primark. It's like an NBA collab. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. But it's one of those like events that like we really have no idea what to I wear. I'm actually just thinking. I don't like, know. As weird as it sounds, like I don't think I've been to like an event that's like a, a guy in the industry. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm I mean there isn't many really events no, like exactly. that. Is so I feel like that's why I'm so like out Not in sure my depth. Don't know what to expect. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of guys. So I feel like. Okay. Everyone will be more like cool, chill. Do you know what I mean? So I'm wearing leather pants and just a crop top and like a leather jacket and Imogen's wearing basically. Can I swap this out? Huh? Can I swap this out? Uh, yeah. I do love the eye, but I do know what you mean. It's, I think it goes, but do you know what? That doesn't faded. look gold anymore. No. Yeah. I, I hate when it does that. Studios, and this is the one that faded. I've got the Olivia Sales one, so we swap. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Have you been showering with it? Oh, I shower on my jewelry. Yeah, so, so really do bad. I shower in my jewelry as well. Yeah. But, um,. Yeah, Imogen's kind of wearing like something really similar, but imagine not leather, basically. So we are going for more chill vibes, but I've got heels on and I feel like I haven't worn heels in like the longest time and I'm just dreading no, how much I'm going to ache. I wear boots now, I, that's all I, I wear. I wore heels on to go out the other night and literally I was in my heels for possibly five minutes, took them off and put like my, my Air Force on to go out. <laughs> that's the thing, it wasn't even like a nice pair, it was my Air Force. And my thing is <laughs> as well, was like, even when if I go clubbing, I'm not joking, I know this sounds awful and you're going to say that's gross, whatever. I, n- I always take my shoes off. I always take my shoes off, don't I? I'm in bare feet because I like dancing and I'm like, screw it. And so I just go in bare feet and screw well, it. everyone does notice because I'm like five foot eight to suddenly five foot one again. But anyways, it's not talking about that. Um, <laughs> I am. Everyone's literally like, wait, where'd you go? <laughs> so everyone does notice, but it is what it is. And I don't think I could be taking off the hills today at today's event. But yeah, not really sure what to expect, but it'd be a really nice event. Also, Primark have so many good things at the moment. Like I'm actually so excited to go to Primark. In Jen has been buying so much. Also, show the shoes. These are the new heels. How yes. nice are they? The I'm obsessed the with those. The boots, the Rita Aura boots to be specific. And the pumps, they're little pumps. I know, so cute. Fiverr, pumps, Primark pajamas, stunning. Everything, <laughs> we love it. Push up bra. <laughs> <laughs> I was not planning on drinking, but this venue is so cool. What are we doing? Oh no, we need a drink. I think yeah. like my, my social confidence isn't confidencing. No, do you know what? I've realized that's all in your head. Do you know alcohol gives you anxiety? No, no, everyone says this, but I, 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 I always I thought I felt better until I go to events and I don't drink, I actually end up feeling better. I'm but disagreeing. it's like a rave thing, so I want to drink. Yeah, the music's calling a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, feeling lucky. How about most streets? Us two in these streets. Diamonds on my feet. Situation. We were debating going out, but instead we've opted in because we're health queens. <laughs> Duh. 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 <laughs> Brisky. Oh, that's all right. They didn't fuck up my order. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually been with each other for a few hours. I've been terrible. Uh, actually, this entire week has been the most random bitty vlog ever. I feel you, babe. <laughs> vlog. <laughs> but look at this, right? So, Anna and I have just been deciding what we're wearing tonight, by the way. We are so excited for tonight's night out. Manchester just genuinely is the best night out. And I just said to Anna, oh, can I have a snack? And I know that she always has the best snack drawer. Well, it's even better than normal. Guys, can we take a minute for how this girl is stocked up? Like, it's, it's insane. It's giving Costco. Look at these. Oh, oh my brows. God. It's giving Costco in Anna's one drawer. Yeah. Like, how <laughs> insane is that? Trump and those crisps. truffle crisps, like, I want to try those. That looks so good. Oh, are these all Milky Bar? Yeah. Oh, my God. And you have little Kinders. Oh, my God. I'm real. Wow. Go, girly. <laughs> Get ready with us for night out. <laughs> out in, in Manchester. In Manchester. Right, we are priming to the max tonight because we are getting ready at quarter to three. We're not going out until half six. That's yeah, made my skin so one. red. I, know I was just looking at myself but... thinking I look really red. It will calm down in a minute. It's dangerous because the fact that we're planning to get drunk, it's it's not going to end up well at all. If we get in at four, it's fine. So I have planned tonight because I've only been to Manchester, like to go out in Manchester like twice. So we're going to go to Firefly for food, best food ever. Then I've booked the wash house, which is like a speakeasy. 
I'm so, so excited for that. It looks like a laundrette, but it's obviously not. It's like a slide and stuff. We're going to go to Albert's Lush. The best go night. Go to pay. Right, we're both using the pink honey cream bronzer, which is my favourite thing ever. I've I love yours that has a hair attached to it. <gasps> oh my God, it does. Tonight, we are absolutely looking for a husband because, spoiler alert, when you Tell watch the podcast, it. we're both very single and a lot Still. has gone on. That is actually Same. how I want to be. I, I don't want a boyfriend. boyfriend. No. Snap. <laughs> I'm over it. Like, I'm so over it. For the first time in my life, I am very over boys. Which I didn't think I'd say at 20, 22, nearly 23, because surely this is the years I should be like <laughs> excited to go out and like meet boys, but they're actually all dicks. <laughs> the way you actually thought about it, you went. Because I was thinking it was a nice way of <laughs> saying it that I can say they're dicks. Update everyone, Anastasia and I are ready. Woo! Anna looks unreal. She looks absolutely so gorgeous. Go. We've just been doing some TikToks and in all of the TikToks, I'm not wearing the outfit that I'm wearing. And I actually wish I was wearing that in the, in the TikToks the now. Dress. But um, we've changed about a thousand. The we thing is, we're on such up. different vibes. I know. Which is why we can't make our minds up. Like I look at Anna, I'm like, oh, I should wear boots. And then I look at the boots and I'm like, oh, but, the but the heels are better. Like... And then I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So we've both changed like a thousand times, but we are so excited to go out. I don't want to hug you because you're literally I know, I've oil. got loads of body <laughs> but um, yeah, it's gonna be so nice. We're going to Firefly for dinner, and then what was it? Yeah. The Wash House for cocktails. The wash house, and then... That's the one that looks like a laundrette, right? Yeah. I'm so in, so, so excited. Cool. So we've just got to Firefly. Um, it's so like nice here. Yeah, to be fair, it's not what I was expecting. We're literally next to the DJ booth, which is pretty cool. So I'm just like so excited. I'm just so excited to be out. I don't know. I feel like I haven't been out properly in like. I know I went to an event last night, but I feel like I haven't been out out in a long time. We haven't had a girls' night. We have not had a girls' night. And tomorrow I'm even excited to like chill. Chilled hangover day. Yeah. Nice little slow day. <laughs> Very opposite days. I'm excited for both days as much as each other. Okay, and a lion. Anastasia. <laughs> We're going through the vending machine. Thank you. <laughs> Upstairs. The menu is based on conspiracy theories, which is so cool. I'm gonna get the Simpsons did it because I believe in the Simpsons conspiracy theory. Like, well, I don't even, I haven't actually read the conspiracy theory, but I genuinely believe that the Simpsons predict the future is so weird. And inside it's got donut milk, cold brew and vanilla. I don't really understand where the alcohol is though. Cause like this, look, it says rum on it. Whereas I'm not seeing the alcohol, unless that's alcohol and I'm being thick. But I've never heard of that. I'll just ask the guy when he comes over. There was one that looked really good and it was Alphys isn't dead. Where is it? Oh, the global warming one. Have you seen that one? That's got chili vodka and tobacco gold and ginger ice cream. I think that'll be like hell on a plate for me. Even though it's in glass. Or one. Bigfoot. What's it got inside? Vodka, mouse, kingdom, dark berry, spruce, and honey soda. Lovely. And it says sparkling. <laughs> Sparkle. <laughs> it's so cute. It's the cream on top as well. I think I'm going to get one, you know. What do you think? Your face is giving not sure. It tastes like a chocolate milkshake without one. Wait, that sounds like the dream. I can't lie, I just didn't love the cocoa. I can't believe you love that. Yeah, no. no, I don't like it. Don't like Honestly, I don't like it. I actually way prefer the Simpson one. I just don't like it. That's nice. Maybe like the camera, I've got oh, milk on my lips. <laughs> She's got milk in her tip. <laughs> Please, that one. <laughs> <laughs> She's got milk in her Oh my god! Woo! Did you take your shoes off? No, 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 no shoes off. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> She's stuck, and she. She's stuck. Is she stuck? <laughs> Is she stuck at the sides? <laughs> I can just see her feet. No, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I need to do the rest. Why the 
Uber's here, guys. We need to put the shoes on. Good morning. Actually, I can't even say it's good morning, can I? Well, it's the next day, guys, and we are feeling a little bit worse for wear. Look at my hair. Okay, so we ended up getting Greek food. This is our first meal of the day. And I actually put this on the bed and I was like, babe, should we go at least have it in the lounge? Because we have not left the bed and it's... 5.40, are you joking? But anyways, yeah, we got like chicken, gyro-y sort of thing. Hey, okay, so update everyone. We have put on the Kardashians. We're so upset there's only one episode that's out. We don't know why Disney Plus do this. I don't get it. Like, why don't they just release it all in one go? Because then I forget to watch it. But very, very excited for this new episode. What season is this now? Four. Four. Season four. Oh, like, we are just so tired today. Anyways, yeah, yes, it was so... Oh my God, guys, you're not actually going to believe this. I mean, we're going to... Well, it's how you everything that happened on the night out anyways. But I have a really bad habit of like when guys ask for my phone number of actually giving my own phone number because the amount of times that guys then go, well, let me ring you. And then it's so awkward because I've given them a fake number. So now I just end up giving them my real number, which is so bad. Like I should not be doing that. But literally the full day today, <laughs> we've been getting calls and messages and we're like, number one, who's this one? And then one of the guys that I met out who I gave my number to, we go and collect the food. And he's there. He lives in my building. He lives in Anna's building. You know, like the people shock. It was like we were little school kids who we were giggling but to ourselves. So my awkward. Breath, I went, That's him. So I went, who? And they turned around and went, you two are in. Albert shot us. Like, weren't you? And we were like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was such a good night, though. Like, it was so, so, so nice. It was such a good night. Like, paying so glad we today. did it. Although, yeah, we are absolutely paying for it today. And we have a lot to spill on the podcast. Also, to let you know, our podcast release date is drumroll. October 17th. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, was wrong then. I, was like, I know. So excited. I have so much to fill you guys in with. This is this season is gonna be so good. Like get There's ready for lot. it. It's gonna be so good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this very bitty weekly vlog and I shall see you all soon.